This company accounts for 2% of Indonesia's GDP. Hopefully one day we'll contribute to 5 to 10%. Has superstar ambassadors. Zonda! Patricia! And is vying to become Southeast Asia's most valuable startup. But you may never have heard of it. So what exactly is GoTo? And how did it get so big? GoTo Group is an Indonesian tech company formed in May 2021 in a blockbuster merger between two of the country's largest startups, Gojek and Tokopedia. In some sense, this is a long history in the making. The main product of the merger, a powerful super app you can use to book a ride, buy something or make a payment, is today used by tens of millions. But the road to this landmark union started more than a decade ago. Founded a year apart in the capital Jakarta, Tokopedia started in 2009 as an e-commerce marketplace to connect small merchants with buyers, while Gojek launched in 2010 as a ride-hailing platform for motorbike taxis. Both companies were created by a group of friends in their 20s who were responding to an emerging wave of internet connectivity taking hold of the country at the time. So in 2007, we at Tokopedia see the opportunity where Indonesia is already the king of social media. And we believe that if we can build a platform, an online marketplace, where we can connect these strangers across the island with the power of internet, this should be able to democratize opportunity and democratize commerce to everyone. There was kind of this inflection point where people were seeing the potential of the internet there, uh, especially with the rise of uh, mobile. In a sprawling country with the world's fourth largest population and a rapidly growing middle class, the founders were onto something. In the years that followed, both businesses ventured into digital payments and other services. Tokopedia doubled down on adding new market segments, such as parents, couples, and small stallholders to its ecosystem. Meanwhile, Gojek expanded its ride-hailing platform regionally and grew its domestic super app offering users on-demand services from food to massages and even manicures. From day one, we offered multiple different services. So we never saw ourselves as a ride hailing company or a delivery company. Uh, we saw that the object driver could do many things. A human being on a motorcycle could do many things and could be trusted to do many things. And so when we launched, we already had these multiple different services on the same base of drivers. Then, in 2015, the two began working in partnership, using Gojek drivers to provide same-day delivery for Tokopedia products during their off-peak riding hours. We were the first in the world to bring together a partnership between an on-demand platform with an e-commerce platform. With that two collaboration, we uniquely create the first same-day delivery. Both companies have grown to become juggernauts, boasting an impressive list of investors such as SoftBank, Alibaba, Tencent, Facebook, and Google. Their $18 billion merger, Indonesia's largest ever, comes amid fierce competition from Singapore-based Shopee and Grab. There was speculation they may merge with other regional startups. I know there were a lot of rumors, but, but in reality, we were under no pressure to do anything. And you know, when we looked at our futures, we actually realized that a lot of the things that we've done together were really amazing, but could be so much more if we actually were under one company. Under the new structure, Gojek's Andre Solistio takes over as CEO of GoTo Group and GoTo Financial. Tokopedia's Patrick Cow becomes president, while Kevin and William will remain CEOs of Gojek and Tokopedia, respectively. The combined entity counts over 100 million monthly active users more than 11 million merchants and over 2 million drivers in an ecosystem that represents 2% of Indonesia's $1 trillion GDP. Imagine that Amazon, DoorDash, Uber, PayPal, Stripe is combined together. There's a saying that if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. So go to basically is a go far, go together. GoTo is hoping that will help them capture a greater chunk of the market in Indonesia and beyond. 
Indonesia's digital economy is expected to be worth $124 billion by 2025, as the wider Southeast Asian online market triples in value to more than $309 billion. Florian Hopp, a partner at management consulting firm Bain & Company, co-authored the research. He told me more. Indonesia obviously remains hugely exciting because population in Southeast Asia uh, kind of huge economic growth forecasted for the next 10 years or thereabouts, really turning into a consumption-based economy as well. And a big part of that story has been this kind of quick adoption of digital services. But in order to expand, Florian said businesses need to target their services at the 120 million Indonesians who live outside urban areas across the 17,000 island archipelago. Indonesia is now facing that next level of growth challenge. A lot of the early growth was driven by key urban centers, was driven by Java. That captures probably about half the population thereabouts. The next half is gonna be the really interesting story. How do you reach them? Um, establishing logistics services there, onboarding them for payment solution, really starting to integrate them in the digital economy. For GoTo, that includes providing payments and financial services in a country where 47 million adults lack access to mainstream financial services and products. 92 million have never used a bank. When you have 70,000 island, to credit score everyone is so difficult, right? But uh, the moment that with this technology, everyone has a mobile phone. And uh, with this, you can capture and actually build credit score for everyone. It's these individuals who are underbanked or unbanked uh, where falling sick or economic shocks can really mean the difference uh, between uh, being in the middle class and, and, and falling back, back into poverty. And so this is, this is really both a, a huge business opportunity, uh, but also an area where we really think that we can deliver you know, a lot of impact. To date, neither Gojek nor Tokopedia are profitable. The company is said to be planning another round of fundraising before publicly listing, likely in Jakarta and the US. On time frame, uh, not only for the IPO, but on all product development, my time frame is always yesterday. But to be realistic to the team and so on, then is uh, as soon as possible. We hope that we can aim to list by uh, hopefully end of this year. The merger of Gojek and Tokopedia comes weeks after rival super app Grab completed a Nasdaq listing through the world's biggest special purpose acquisition company merger, valuing it at almost $40 billion. GoTo is said to be seeking a public market valuation target of $35 to $40 billion. In many ways, our story was the underdog story. Uh, we were, for a very long time, the smaller uh, less well-capitalized player going against global or regional giants. Um, and, and we've managed to thrive and succeed uh, in spite of that. The IPOs will serve as a litmus test for the region. If successful, it could pave the way for more tech startups to emerge as investor appetite grows. Southeast Asia historically has had a bit more challenging time getting on the radar next to China and India, which are obviously much easier to digest. Southeast Asia with different countries, different local regulations, and actually a fairly fragmented geography as well. This has been a bit harder to grasp. And in fact, I think many international investors probably had trouble figuring out how much potential is there. If anything, the last few years have shown that now the digital economy is actually rivaling uh, at the very least India, but the potential is clearly there. And I think international investors have woken up to that. With their combined resources and business thriving in the new landscape, what about GoTo's plans for the future? GoTo come with a big responsibility. We try to provide solution for a problem that we figured out a decade ago. But this solution will also create another problem. With uh, millions of drivers, the emission, with so many merchants, the packaging and so on. So we have a commitment by the year of 2030, how we can really drive zero waste, zero emission, and uh, to become a company that can be a legacy for the next generation. The bold aims imply the go-to of 2030 could look very different to today. But as far as the leaders are concerned, they're just getting started. There's no doubt that our ambitions are global. Uh, we, uh, we have uh, operations, uh, not just in Indonesia, and we, we do believe that the future uh, for our combined group uh, is one that uh, goes beyond just one country.